guys welcome back to my channel so the first thing that I am doing here is I'm just applying some concealer to her eyelids and this is going to prep for my eyeshadow So after I've set the um, concealer with some powder, I'm taking this brown shade as her transition color. And it's from my um, Black Radiance Contour Palette. And guys, I did not show everything from the beginning this time. Um, of course, I moisturized. I used Pond's moisturizer to moisturize her face. I did three tutorials back to back, so that's why um, I kind of started where I started at. So now I'm taking NYX Jumbo Pencil in Rust, and I'm putting that all over her eyelid. And I'm going to take my finger and just put that all over. I'm going to spread it around. Um her entire eye now for this look I didn't do too much I just didn't want to go crazy um, with the eye because the other tutorials that I've have already done they were kind of a little more not dramatic but they had a lot more color so I wanted to keep hers kind of simple so now I'm taking this eyeshadow from one of my palettes. I honestly don't remember the name, but I'm going to put everything that I use and all the names down below in the description bar. So now I'm going to take this um, highlighting balm. So it's by Danessa Myricks and it's really amazing. It's just going to highlight her cheekbones. I'm going to put it in the middle of her forehead and then I'm also going to put it on her chin. Um, oh, and her down the bridge of her nose as well, I believe. But um, this just basically gives a nice inner glow. And that's exactly what I wanted. I just wanted it to be about skin and a nice glow. And guys, you can do whatever technique that you like. Just because I recommend something does not mean that you have to do it my way. But this is just what I'm showing you guys and what I did on my model. And as I'm doing this, as you can see, I'm really just taking my fingertip and I'm doing it ever so lightly. I'm not rubbing against her skin. You don't want to give your clientele wrinkles. Um, and I definitely made sure that I sanitized and everything before even touching her face with my fingers. So now what I'm doing here is I'm taking some foundation as color corrector because I actually forgot my color corrector so I didn't feel like going to get it but she had like a little bit of discoloration around her mouth so I just wanted to correct that before applying her foundation. If you have any dark spots around your mouth, your nose, or even under your eyes, you always want to make sure that you color correct before putting your foundation on just so it won't seep through your foundation. So now I'm going to take the same foundation, I'm going to put it under her eyes as sort of like a highlight. I'm going to add another highlighter on top of this, but this is just to lighten up the center of her face before I put on her foundation on the outer of her face in the contour color. And to blend all of this, I'm using a damp beauty blender. Always be sure to use a damp beauty blender, guys. I cannot say this enough. Now, if you see me dipping in and out of the tube, be sure that I always sanitize um, in between my clients, after my clients, before my clients. I'm always sanitizing my makeup, so definitely, definitely don't want to spread germs. Um, also, if you find yourself um, wanting to use a spatula, you can get that from um, offline Amazon has some and it also sometimes comes with the little um, makeup palette that you can put the product on in the back of the um, palette so that you can just do it that way just so you won't have to um, have it on your hands or anything but I'm more of a person that likes to just use my hands and you know all that good stuff so whatever works for you do just that now I'm taking um, the foundation that I'm using for her skin and I'm just distributing it all over her face now these are cream foundation guys that I am using and I absolutely love them um, so I'm gonna put that all over her face I'm gonna put it down her neck 
because um, I just wanted to make sure that everything sort of like went well and meshed well with her skin tone so um right now everything looks crazy it looks very very crazy but trust the process because in the end it's going to look beautiful you always want to be sure to blend 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 as much as you need to guys to make sure everything is even and it just looks flawless Now I'm taking that lighter foundation under the eye and I'm going to just blend that out. I'm literally putting it only like a little in the center of the eye and I'm dragging it out. I didn't really want it to be too light so I just watched the way that I blended it. Some things I did off camera. So right here I am blending out um, the contour that I put in the hollows of her cheeks and I'm just mixing everything together just to make sure that it's flawless no you know you don't see any harsh edges or anything but just a nice flawless blend now we're going to powder so when I powder I literally take a brush and I just put it exactly where I want it so I'm going to put it under the eye I don't put it all over the skin this look I wanted it to be dewy I wanted it to look flawless but I wanted it to look like skin I wanted it to just look beautiful so um I didn't put a lot of powder and I tried to keep powder away from certain areas so you do it as you as you want and you know do it to your liking but that's what I did and the powder that I used was by Danessa Myrits. so right here I am basically just applying some powder contour to her cheeks um, and the hollows of her cheek and I'm just going to keep putting that all over just to bring some color back to her face I did not take a dark contour shade I pretty much bronzed her up because that's the look that I was going for I'm going to do her eyebrows, finish up her lashes, and all that off camera. Um, I definitely didn't record that part, so just giving you guys a heads up. If you guys want an in-depth um, eyebrow tutorial, let me know. If you guys want to see me do certain things, just let me know, and I'll do a video on them. Now I'm going to contour her nose, which we like to call Snatch the Nose. Um... So you don't want to do it too much, but I'm just going to do it where it's enough definition. right here I felt like she needed more bronzer so I added a little more bronzer I also put blush on the apples of her cheeks so all of that information will be down below guys so make sure that you check out the description box now I'm just making sure all of the powder is dusted away you don't want any um, extra powder as a flashback but yeah, so here I'm just brushing up her eyebrows, but I'm not going to be showing how I do them because I didn't get that part on camera. Sorry, guys. Okay. 
So now here is me just making sure everything looks seamless and flawless. So this is pretty much the finished look. I'm just spraying her with some finishing spray, a little setting spray, and that is about it. Oh, and right here I'm adding baby oil to her neckline because it just accentuates everything and gives it a nice glow. Now I am fully complete, and that is about it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!